Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. And welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, March the 1st. We're going to talk about the theater today. Actually, two different sides. We start, first of all, with Jane Whiteside, Missouri Symphony Society. Good to have you here, Jane. Thank you for asking me, Paul. And uh, you, you've, got, uh, you've got some good things going on with young people, right? We do. We do. Um, you know, we have a conservatory, the Missouri Symphony Conservatory, which is um, sort of our education arm. I've, we've talked about it here before. Yeah. We have two orchestras and a choir, and also we newly have a uh, woodwind quintet, yeah. along with uh, the Emerald Quartet and the chamber players. So we've got quite a bit going on over there. You know, you, when you think about that, you mention it all and realize how fortunate we are in central Missouri to have an organization like that because it's just a wealth of entertainment. Anything you enjoy is available. That's true. That is that Columbia is a very rich community in terms of the arts. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, for any type of experience you'd like to have. Uh, we have our winter concert coming up on March 6th, which will be at Rockbridge High School uh, Performing Arts Center. Okay. And that will be for the, all the conservatory students, including the choir. It'll be um, both orchestras and the choir. So how many people will be involved in that? There's about 120 students. Okay. So uh, to give them all performance time, you know, is kind of a little tricky, but they've got a really good program lined out. And it will all be in one uh, in one performance, correct? Right. It's one. Well, they're split. The Junior Symphonia will play, and then the Philharmonic will play. Right, but it's all together. But it's, it's yes, all together. it's all in one performance. So right. if you're wanting tickets, now when you think of how many kids you've got in there, you've got <laughs> grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and moms and dads and brothers and sisters. How do they get tickets? Well, here's the good thing: all of our conservatory concerts are free. Free. So there are no tickets, but you would want to get there early to get a good seat. Well, you're I right. would think so because yeah. you're probably going to end up having standing room only. We hope so. All we right. truly hope so. So that is when? That's March 6th. Okay. Anything else you want to mention? Yeah. On the 16th of March, the Junior Symphony will be playing out at Lenore Woods at the Community Center. They play out our, our different groups of our conservatory play out there regularly. Okay. Uh, the Children's Chorus will also perform out there on April 3rd. And then the Chamber Players have their spring concert on April 7th at the First Baptist Church at 7 o'clock. And if you haven't seen the Chamber Players before, it's really, it's really worth it. Okay. They are terrific. These are our best performance artist in the orchestra. Now, if people want information about all of this, the best thing to do is go to the website, That's right, right at uh, mosymphonysociety.org. Okay, www.mosymphonysociety.org. And it will there. give you all the information about uh, all the concerts and yeah. uh, what's available. That's right. Okay, Jane Whiteside, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you. I right. appreciate you Please asking Please come me. back again. I will, we definitely. we got Hot Summer Nights coming back up, too. And Serenade, which is our big fundraiser for the conservatory, okay. also coming up. Serenade and the Hot Summer Nights. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Okay. Jane Whiteside. Now, we've got more art to talk about. Heather Great. Carver, pleasure to have you here. I'm MU thrilled. Theater. Thrilled to be here. Yeah. It's so we're talking days. about all the good things at the Missouri Symphony Society. And you have oh, yes. uh, a production that you wrote yourself? I did. I did. This is my third play. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, 10 years ago, and I started off writing a solo performance about my life because even though there's nothing funny about cancer, my life continued to be funny. And so I wrote a play called Booby Prize, and then I was still here a few years later, so I wrote a play called Booby <laughs> Trap. And now I'm here 10 years later, and it's the third in my trilogy, and I'm calling it Booby Hatch. Booby Hatch. A hysterical musical. Okay. So, which means they're singing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is, this is in celebration. This, it really is in celebration of your conquest of, yes, of cancer. it is. I mean, I have had um, stage four cancer for a decade, and I'm still here. So since, I, since I'm a performer and a writer, and uh, I really like to do this kind of work, I'm going to do my show. So. You know what? You are living proof also that 
mental attitude makes mm -hmm. a difference. It does. It makes a great big it difference. Really does. Because you're saying, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to continue living. I'm not going to give oh, up yeah. to this awful disease. It's true. And I'm here and I'm here to celebrate. I'm also a mom. My kids are in the Missouri Symphony Society. So I hope everyone. So your friends over here, <laughs> so, right? Um, and I, you know, I'm a professor and I've had a lot going on. And so I'm, I'm thrilled to share it with audiences and we're going to start it up very soon. All right. I, you know, before we give oh, the date and time yes. and places, I want you to address, because this really is this is something that you have lived for 10 years. Oh, yes. What do you say to somebody watching us or listening to us that is diagnosed with cancer. Mm -hmm. It's frightening. It's extremely frightening. What, what do you say to them as a survivor of I, 10 years? I remember when I was first diagnosed. It's terrifying. But one of the themes of my play um, is that just like snowflakes, we are all so different. And when people hear words, they think they're on a journey um, that they might have, it might be something they saw in the movies or something that's even scarier. And actually, they're on their own journey. And there is hope. And everyone's, you know, they hear things like stage one or stage stage two or stage four, and they think that that means something um, that might not be. And so they're really, it's not a false hope at all. There's, I'm staying ahead of science as, as a human being. The medicines that are helping me right now were not even created um, 10 years ago when right. I was first, when you were diagnosed. first diagnosed. It's, it's, I mean, we just have to keep on pulling together and supporting research um, and really maintaining that you know, cancer has got to go. Yes, yeah. yes. You're you're an absolute inspiration. Thank you're an you. inspiration. Thank and, you. And if people want to oh, come I and want laugh. Them to come and, come and laugh. Mine. It's funny. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> and um, we'll have a good time. March second, um, we'll premiere at seven thirty. It's in the corner playhouse okay. on the corner of Hitton University on MU campus. And then I'm gonna do a couple of matinees because the joy is that I'm still here, which means I'm old, which is awesome, and I like matinees. <laughs> So March 5th. The older you get, the more you appreciate the matinees. I know. You don't have to stay so up late at night. March 5th, I'll do a Saturday matinee at 3 o'clock. And yeah. then Sunday, March 6th, I'll do a matinee at 2 o'clock. Okay. Um, but I want to quickly say there are three other plays happening at the same time. They're all my students. Okay. And they have created solo performances based on their lives also. And they'll be running at the same time. So if you're interested, just go to our website, call 882-PLAY, um, get your tickets. Okay. Um, Heather, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for and having I'm, me. I'm, I know we got a little bit off track there, but I think you are an inspiration, and hopefully you have touched somebody's heart today. I hope so, because okay? there, there really is a lot to do, and we just have to speak out. All right. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Heather Carver and Jane Whiteside for being with us today. Uh, tomorrow, Salvation Army Women's Auxiliary Benefit Concert, our topic. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA, our floor director, Ariel Sierra, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Something you would like to hear or see, drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. Bye-bye.